My name's Chris Carr. Welcome to No Frills Movie Reviews. <coughs> so this is my uh, new channel, uh, No Frills Movie Reviews. It's not just going to be movie reviews, it's going to be TV, really a bit of news from the UK. Not really celeb, mostly movie news, TV news, and anything else that I find interesting, basically. <coughs> I'm tired, just woken up. So the first film I'm doing is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, this film from the start got a bit of a bad rap. Like, it started with Michael Bay. It's the, f it's the first thing I heard about it. Michael Bay is involved. Aliens. Let's not get into it. So, then we had Megan Fox. And we were like, Michael Bay, Megan Fox, it didn't really work at Transformers, why are they doing it here? Anyway, Michael Bay, he was just on as a producer, you know. We thought, well, this could be alright. You know, different director. He's just on as producer. Okay, we'll take it. You know, we'll we'll see what happens. You know, Megan Fox. Yes, she was gonna be put into a big role. Yeah, we didn't really like her in Transformers. She'd done a bit of comedy after that, which kind of worked for her. But she, she she didn't really do well in Transformers. Anyway, we started seeing trailers. It looked Michael Bay. It it had that colouring of Michael Bay. You know, real contrast. You know, dark. But it but it it seemed a little bit different. Um the story. The story seemed a bit different. The way the characters were were coming across were were slightly different. So on we were on the fence. A lot of people were on the fence with this one I think. I've just watched it and look, it's not a Michael Bay film. It looks Michael Bay, but it's not Michael It's far funnier than any Michael Bay film. I mean I like Pain and Gain. Pain and Gain's a pretty good film, even though it's morally wrong, very insensitive to the people that were involved in that story, but if as a film on its own, it's it's a good film. This is funnier than Pain and Gain, I thought. The Turtles were funny. April O'Neil, played by Megan Fox, it worked. Don't even get me started on her cameraman. Uh, is it Annette? I forget his name. <sighs> From that Netflix show, um, uh, what do you call it? I can't remember. You tell me in the comments. Um, what's his name? Will Arnett, you know? He's usually pretty funny. I liked him in Blades of Glory. Um, I liked him in a couple of shows that he's done. In this, pff, didn't need him. Didn't need him. He, he, was, he wasn't great. Uh, you know, Johnny Knoxville was in there with the Turtles, he played a great role. To be fair, with a, the the way they did the voices, you couldn't really tell much of the difference between them all. Some of them were more funnier than others. But, I mean, besides that, the Turtles, they looked great. So, the villains. The Foot Clan, uh, there wasn't much there. Shredder, although in, in the pictures beforehand, looked great. In the film, it looked like a you know a smaller transformer basically. It was alright. Was it great? It could have been better, I thought. But M Megan Fox worked with the turtles. The turtles were very funny. The action in this film was absolutely outstanding. I thought. Very, I mean, obviously it was very CGI a lot of it. But this had story backed up by great action. So you know you can't really argue with that. But I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I wanted to see more story, I wanted to see more character development in this kind of film and that is exactly what I got. But anyway, that's my quick um, my quick movie review, my first one. Um, let me know what I could do better. Let me know if I did okay. Um, I'm a bit tired at the moment, I've just woken up, but um, hopefully I'll get better at this. Um, thanks for watching. You can catch me on uh, my Facebook page as well which is uh, No Frills Reviews on Facebook. Um, and uh, please subscribe, that'd be great uh, if you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Uh, I've been Chris Carr. You've been watching No Frills Movie Reviews. Cheers.